All right, here's our set. This is actually our hotel room, but um, we're gonna put this guy right in front of the window, and that's where this is all gonna start. Um, this is our main character. We call him the Beast, and uh, this is the beginning of his journey. So we've been wandering around the city. Sometimes we don't have enough wind. So what do we do? No wind, right? So we gotta use human power. Very good. That's that's how we've been doing it. This job blows. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> but look, you have so many fans. Uh, yesterday we went throughout the city and we shot him like uh, just in different parts. And today we're showing what what happens in the beginning when he uh, unfolds. Well, the idea that Wesley had was to have the the stem grow out of the pot first, and then part of it would rotate 90 degrees. So, um, what I'm going to do is put a rubber band there, put a second piece here, and then have it pivot. So what I'm doing is, uh, this, this is actually our special effect wire. We're going to use it to, uh, to trigger certain movements, um, but this is actually floss because we don't have string. So we have floss. But it's too, uh, it's too thick, so I'm cutting a tiny strand of it. But I think that's actually still too thick, so I'm gonna um, keep cutting away at this until it's like barely visible. Old school special effects, Old no, school. no CG, anything. This is, I think it gives it a more authentic look. That's right. This is for the part where the the fins start to unfurl. So the first one is just going to um, kind of like unroll like a piece of toilet paper, like that. This is actually a separate piece that we made um, for the um, opening of the petals. The good thing about a pinwheel is that you could you could construct it in many different ways. And one is uh, if you have four separate fans, uh, fins, like this. So we thought, well. The actual one is solid, but this is how it grows. So, so four it, pieces that all come from one. See the floss, the magic of floss. So hopefully this works, we'll see. Yeah, so kids, don't forget to floss. <laughs> We're about to shoot right now. We're setting up some of the pieces. Here's our very complicated camera rig. All right, we started shooting and encountered a small problem. Uh, our magic wire shows up on camera too much, so what are we doing? Yeah, um, so this is a, a secret that the special effects masters use. Um, you take one of these, it's like a sharpie, and then you just color the, the wire to the same color that the background is. He's matching the color of the string to the background so that it's less visible. And it's clearly working. Movie magic. And I'm sure that this is how they get the wires to disappear when they did the new Iron Man movie. Oh yeah. The, um, you know, this is what Avatar, the pros do. Avatar, when they got those dragons to fly, um, that's how they erase the wires. They just use a sharpie. So this was the rig we were setting up earlier. Um, the, the idea is that your your fin, your, all your fin fan flaps just like unroll from this one piece like that that's and the reason why that we have this set up is so that it spins very evenly yeah it'd be hard down. to hold that thing into position while spinning it so we did a little uh, paper craft project and then uh, once again our magic wire yeah magic you can marker see it. Wire. Like how awesome it is yeah. And this isn't even connected. This is this is yeah. like it's movie magic again. It's all one big illusion. We one tricked you. Big. We tricked you. I brought most of the materials for the pinwheel from home, and we we made it um, while we were in Italy. But since we were taking a lot of trains and moving around a lot uh, from place to place, we needed something to carry it in without um, damaging it, but also at the same time being able to access it really quick. So it looks like an ordinary shoebox, but open it up, 
It's actually custom made to house our hero model pinwheel. There's an internal support that not only holds it in the right position, prevents it from moving, but it also covers up the rock pot so the little pebbles don't fall out and this thing prevents it from, from spinning. So you can move this however way you want basically, yeah. and it's secure. And an extra compartment for more pebbles if you need backup. And the best thing is this reversible cover, once you put it on, it has a support that holds it in place. You could do anything you want. Nice. And you made this. I, I made this uh, small box out of a bigger box. Uh, you cut it all up and glued it back together. And this is what it